Hi everyone, this is Alan from OC Nerf. I just want to do a follow-up video on the disc hopper for the Proton. Earlier this week, I did one on this, which is the three dart hopper that goes on top just like this. And if you noticed in that video, I was talking about having a cap on here. This did not have a cap, so I've been working on adding a cap to this. And I think I've got one that I like. Now, basically this comes into three parts. You're going to get this, which is the pullback tab. This, which is the cap that goes onto it and locks this into place. You'll just need a screw. And uh, actually four parts now. Either the uh, three disc, which I like for low profile, or the five disc hopper. And the fourth is this, the cap itself. And I'll talk about that in a second. So we're going to go through a quick little installation on this to turn this single shot. into a multi-shot uh, dart disc blaster. So we're going to start with the pullback tab and it is going to go right into here as you can see and then we're going to take this, I already put the screw through there and you're going to go ahead and put that screw in its place. The holes are in there but the grooves for the screw are not except for this one of course as I've already done it once. So we'll just take that Make sure it's straight. Give it a little. And I like to pull it as far back as I can. I'll show you why in a minute. Great. So this is the eject tab. I like to pull it back as far as I can, that way it's not engaging this tab right here. And this, of course, is if you need to clear a bad disc, you just push that and it'll release it. So, pulling this all the way back gives us plenty of clearance to make sure that doesn't get engaged. Tightening this makes sure this stays in place and doesn't slide forward to engage it. There we go. Perfect. Step one completed. Uh, step two, I use hot glue because I don't like to make these permanent. Um, this looks, to me, this looks nice. Just a quick, low profile three disc, uh, three disc hopper. And then we've got ourselves the five disc is what we're going to go ahead and try. It's still not terribly too high. So what we're going to go ahead and do is I've already got my hot glue gun prepped. And we're going to go ahead and hot glue this in three different places. There we go. So we're going to make sure to get this measured right, and we're going to put a little bit of hot glue on these corners right here, and a little bit up here. Actually, a lot of it up there. So there we go. That's really hot, and we stick it into place. Kind of let it hold for a minute. Add a little bit more hot glue as needed. Again, I'm not making this permanent as I do like to take this off. So I'm not locking this down. I'm not using any solvent weld or anything like that. It's just hot glue, easy to rip off when I need it. There we go. Alright. Push that down, so now that's in place. The thing you want to test here is that there's enough clearance, whoops, there's enough clearance for this disc in here to still feed through. Nope, see how that didn't go? So we've got to make sure this lifts up a little bit, add a little hot glue underneath. Great. I think that ought to do it. So, again, making sure there's enough clearance. Good. Try that again. Pull back, drops. Enough clearance. Fantastic. So that's in place. Now, that doesn't solve the problem of the lid. <clears throat> so I printed out two different lids. The first one was trying to get the model. And you can see here, maybe see here, there's going to be a difference between these two. Get the 
focus in there. There we go. There's going to be a difference in these two in that this one, I think it's this one, yep. This one has more rounded and beveled edges, whereas this one does not. And the purpose for that is to make this slide in just a little bit easier. <clears throat> so we're going to take hot glue to this one, and we're going to go ahead and lay it on top of there. I like to hold it just like this, and take my hot glue gun and go right around in a circle. Perfect. There we go. Then we just put it on top. Got a little glue on my finger. Okay. Because this is hot glue, that's going to dry and set fairly quickly. <clears throat> there we go. It's not exactly straight, but this is just kind of a quick overview of how this works. Okay. So that's about as in as it's going to get. I'm going to take a disc, feed it in, goes down. This little tab I made here for my finger to go and fit through, feeding in, goes down. That's two. Let's put one in the chamber, shall we? One in the chamber. Here's number three. <clears throat> Here's number four. Let's pop off a few more. This is where I got the idea for this, by the way. So that's five. And six. I think we can try and put another one in there, but it might be too tight of a fit. <clears throat> so I'm going to choose not to. So the point of this is to see how well it holds. As you can see here, I'm going to shake it, trying to get it out. They're not coming out. And that's twofold. One is this is a tighter entrance than the width of the disc. And two, I added a little tab here to prevent it from coming up as well. <clears throat> so there's no way that's going to be falling out. Only way out. Oop, got a little jam. It's through the front here. Did I not get a disc in? There we go. Uh-oh, we got a disc jam. Yep. Oh, that's because it went upside down. That's another thing I've been noticing. The taller the hopper, the more it can have a chance to go upside down. Uh, so just something to note there. Well, that one's stuck inside. <coughs> Let me try to clear this jam. Let's try that again. So, one... One in the chamber, two, yep, and that's what I'm talking about, flip, there we go, two, three, four, five, and six, and we'll fire them off, one, two, three, four, five, six, there we go. All right, and there's the, I guess I could call it the six disc proton hopper. All right, I'd love your feedback and uh, let me know what you think of this. Thanks everyone.